Hi, in this video we are going to learn to use the command array in AutoCAD. Let's start. I'm going to move the mouse towards the array button. And you can see those types when you click on this arrow. We will start with the first one, Rectangular Array. And this mode displays the copied objects arranged in the matrix, like the red window in this example here. I'm going to click on the icon. Then I select the objects that are part of the window. Press Enter. And now you can see that a special tab for Array Creation appears on the ribbon. There you, we can control the number of items and the spacing between them. Now let's talk a bit about the settings. In this blank, we insert the horizontal spacing between the objects. At this moment is 2700, which is the distance between the first and second objects. Let's change it to, for example, 5000. Then press enter or click on another blank. And you can see the difference now. Next, let's insert the vertical spacing, which in my case is 2600. Here you have it. As you can see, the windows are now disposed along three floors. Which is the number of rows? The number of columns in this case is four. OK, I'm going to select the array again and I can do it by just clicking in one of the windows. The array is now a single object and with these grips I can modify the distances or change the number of items. I'm going to explain to you how they work. If I click in the first one which is represented by a square, I can move the array to a different position. For example, I want to move it 1000 meters. If I click in the triangles located on the second column and the second row, I can change its spacing between. For example, I click there for the vertical spacing. If I click in that grip, I change the spacing but the horizontal one. The grips at the last column and at the last row change the number of items. If I click here and drag to the right, I increase the number of columns. And the new value, it can be 20 for example. Now let's learn how to use the polar array. This time I need to click in the arrow next to the command and select polar array. I'm going to choose these two lines, press enter and for the center point of the array, I select the center of the circle. This time, I copy the objects in a specific number around the center of the array. Now let's look at the ribbon, it's a bit different. And in the first column, you can still have the number of items and two new options, angle between and fill. Let's have a look. I'll click there and change the number of items to 24. And if you look at the spacing between, it has decreased it to 15. Now suppose, if instead of 15 I change it to 10, the number of items remain, but they couldn't fill all the circle. And that's why this angle is now less than 360. And this number of 230 it's exactly this angle. Now let's look at this part of the ribbon. In rows, as you can see, there is only one, because I only have one row of items displayed around the center. If I change it to a different number, for example 5, it basically changes to 5 orbits. It's currently set to 266. I'm going to show you a bit closer, here. Consequently, the total distance is this one, 1062. The last column is for the axis Z, so in 3D. I click and hold the mouse wheel 
and move the pointer around. So I change it to the view. And now, even I have here three levels, the distance between each level is very small. If I put 300, for example, you can see the difference. The last array type that I'm going to talk is path array. Imagine that we have a curve here, and we want to place a certain object all along that curve, for example, a circle. I choose path array this time. Select the object that I want to display all along the curve. Press enter and then select the curve. Very good, it's done. But if I want to display the circles with a specific distance between them, I need to make some editings. I'm going to select the array path and then I click in this triangle to change the distance. By placing a circle in another position, I increase the distance and the number of items is also less. And the spacing between this time is the distance along the path, from the first up to the second item. So, it was everything in this video. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cat in Black to get access to all the content of this channel. There are full tutorials, exercises, as well as tips and tricks. So, let's meet in the next occasion.